Hello, Croeso, and welcome back to this week's virtual sofa. This week, I am joined by our volunteers, Martina and Izzy. Hi. Hi. Um, we're going to be chatting a bit about the volunteering that you guys do, and um, for volunteers who want to get involved in your project. Um, so let's start off with um, what volunteering do you do? So we're doing the Sustainability Project. Um, <laughs> It's a charity place in Caswell well when we help people with uh, different difficulties to surf and enjoy. Yeah, yeah, it's just like adapted surfing. Oh, amazing. And then um, what, what age range are you working with that? Um, it's quite a large age range, I think. Yeah, we sometimes have like really little kids and then sometimes definitely like teenagers and I think almost adults. So. Yeah, so adults as well. Yeah. Amazing. So you guys run that project, you're the project coordinators. Um, what does that kind of entail? So we're helping to recruit uh, our volunteers. We help them get a DBS check and all what's necessary to join the project. And yeah, we help them to join the sessions. Yeah, yeah, we just organize the sessions uh, every week, organize the transport um, for the sessions um, and kind of just get make sure that you're like comfortable with the volunteering and sort of the whole process of uh, what they do at Surfability. Oh, excellent. Um, and what happens in the sessions? What do you get up to? Um, so basically when you first get down to Caswell, um, the main thing to begin with is to make sure that everyone has the right kit on. So uh, make sure everyone has um, wetsuits and boots and gloves and hoods, especially in the winter. Um, and then um, after that, it's more about making sure that the correct boards are out because there's different kinds of boards dependent on um, what the individual uh, requires. Um, and then after that, it's taking them down to the beach. Um, then when we're in the water, um, it's mainly about, um, again, how much help someone might need. So some people, some of the kids are like just off and away. They don't, they're, they're absolutely fine. Uh, they don't need any assistance. You sort of need to like sort of be around them. Um, and then some of them need a bit more assistance, like maybe getting onto the board, um, like pushing them out in the water, that kind of thing. Oh, amazing. Oh, that sounds like it's like a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah, it's a lot of fun. Yeah, <laughs> it's really rewarding. Yeah. Oh, brilliant. Um, so for anyone who wanted to, who wants to get involved in surfability after watching this, is there anything that's quite important for them to know about the project? Um, so we're still taking sign-ups uh, for new volunteers. Um, only DBS check is necessary, and mm -hmm. that can be carried out by Discovery. So yeah, we can provide help with that. And we provide our um, kit, we provide transport, so anyone who's keen can join anytime. Yeah. yeah. And um, I'm right in saying your volunteers don't need to know how to surf. No, no, yeah. definitely don't. We didn't when we started. And we, well, <laughs> I still don't. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely don't need to be able to surf. You yeah. just need to be able to swim and have your DBS. They're like the most important things. Oh, excellent. So for anyone who's watching this, um, get in contact with us at Discovery and we can arrange your DBS check um, and get you started with, with Superbility. Amazing. So how often do the sessions run? So sessions are run on uh, Tuesdays and Sunday in Caswell right now, and then Thursdays and Fridays in LC, which is a boat rider centre, so we just surf indoors. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the indoors, indoor sessions are a bit sort of uh, a bit easier if you don't want to be out in the cold or in the sea or whatever. You just sort of um, help them out to put the boards into the um, into the actual border. And that's all that's necessary. And it's kind of they're shorter sessions as well. So if you don't have as much time, um, it's a bit easier to go to those and help out. Yeah, it's also way, way easier to get to. Yeah, so yeah. Oh, brilliant. It sounds like there's there's a lot for a lot of different people to do as well. So if, you, if you're short on time, there's another option. Or if you don't want to be outdoors, there's another option. Um, and it's great, you know, transport provided and for them to have support from you guys as well. Really important. So excellent. Um, to finish off, do you guys have any um, funny or um, any stories of stuff that have happened that have really stuck with you from from running the project? Anything? that's happened during a session? Uh, I think one session we went uh, surfing, we spotted a seal a few meters oh, from yeah. us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Really cute seal in Caswell Bay, yeah, that's the highlight. <laughs> that was so exciting because there was, there was all of us out and then there was also like um, other surfers as well because it was a really good day and like 
everyone just stopped and was like looking at the seal and it was yeah it was really fun <laughs> i think it got quite close to my tennis feet at one point yeah. or something yeah <laughs> so, yeah Oh. Really <laughs> oh that sounds excellent oh well you know if that doesn't convince someone to get involved <laughs> in the project i just don't know what will <laughs> oh thanks for chatting with me today guys um and for our viewers please stay tuned for discovery news but um that's it from me so do you come out bye thank you bye, bye. discovery currently have a number of internships available check out our website for more information We currently have a number of one-off volunteering opportunities, including the school gardening project on Monday the 28th of March. We also have a Welsh talk and litter pick on March the 30th. To sign up to any one-offs, head on over to our Fat Soma. We also have a number of training opportunities next week, including domestic abuse awareness training and learning disability awareness. Both are available to sign up on our Fatsoma. This is also a reminder to log your hours for any volunteering that you do. This includes attending training or taking a part in our one-offs.